And now let's meet our first contestant. Will you come in and sign in, please? As you probably have realized, there is an area of identification here that might be in appearance, costuming, name, some area of identification which would give you too much information, so you're blindfolded. I would just ask our guest if uh, you are fully familiar with how we keep score. Yes. All right, then in that case, let's let the folks at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. who must also be unnamed, is self-employed. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Uh, are you associated with any of the arts? Yes. Uh, would you ever have been seen on television? Yes. Are you a performer? Yes. Uh, would you be considered a leading man? Yes. Yes. I, 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 I got to move in here. Actually, in the general context of the questioning, we would have to accept that all the affirmative replies, except perhaps the last one, are not misleading in any major degree. However, I think the last answer is misleading, and we could not accurately describe our guest as a leading man. He's a misleading man. <laughs> a misleading man he is. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, have you achieved eminence in some field other than television? Yes. Uh, would it be the sort of exploit that might possibly reach the front page of a newspaper? Yes. Is it, is it an exploit that's been on the front page of the newspapers within the past couple of weeks? Uh, no. No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you imagine that we're blindfolded because one or more of us would recognize you at sight? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Uh, are you accustomed to appearing before audiences? Yes. When you appear before audiences, do you ever wear less than you're wearing now? <laughs> When you appear before audiences, do you ever wear less than you are wearing now? I would say that under certain specific conditions, it is not impossible that our guest would wear less than is being worn now, but it's not necessarily germane to what it is we're trying to arrive at. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> <laughs> that is a kind of up and down yes. Well, all right. Do you have anything to do with... Sports or any form of athletic endeavor? Yes. Ball conference. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, I think it would be too misleading to suggest that our guest had a basic affiliation with sports. This is not to say that. It is not within the compass of his enjoyment to indulge in this particular endeavor. Thank you. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Lawford. <laughs> I'm still working on the last one. Um, do you uh, appear continuously on television? By that I mean once a week or once a month. Can I see you? No. No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Uh, do you... Um... Do you use anything in your hands for your job? Like a pencil or a typewriter or anything like that? Yes. Uh, would you be considered a writer? Would you be considered a writer? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> There's nothing this man doesn't do. <laughs> what we have to guess is an all-around man. Uh, 
Are you well known because of a book that has been published of yours? Miss, Miss Arlene, if I may interrupt here, I would have to agree that we must consider that our guest is a writer. We're going to agree that we must consider that our guest is a writer. <laughs> we're going to consider it. You mean we're going to consider whether he is or whether he isn't? No, this is merely, uh, actually, to try and be completely fair. Uh, the talents of our guest are not encompassed oh. entirely in this area of um, work. Oh, then you can do several things. Truly, except sports. That's a fair assumption, yeah. Uh-huh. Um... Have you had... I'm terribly lost. Have you had something published? Does our guest have something published? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, does he write humorously? Do you write humorously? Yes or no? <laughs> the answer then, I think, is properly yes and no. Oh. Um, could he... Uh, does he ever do any drawing like comic strips? Do you ever do any drawing like comic strips? Yes. <laughs> yes? Um, our guest says, yes, he does drawings like comic strips. Is there something quite unusual about our guest? <laughs> Pardon, Arlene? I missed that last one. I just ask if there is something unusual because everything that he does, the audience laughs about. <laughs> no, there's nothing unusual, actually. This sort of thing goes on all the time. Uh, I'm going to pass to Bennett. Mr. Surf? Uh, you are a human being. <laughs> Very much so, Bennett. Very yes. much so. And there is no animal or dummy out there with you. That's right, there is no animal or dummy out there with him, except perhaps... I, I'm not talking about the Master of Ceremonies. That'll be all. <laughs> That'll be all. Uh, have you ever written a book that was published by my firm? Did Ra Random House ever publish a book for you? Yes. <laughs> you to make remarks about the master of ceremonies, sir. Was, a, was this book published within the past year? No. No. That's five <laughs> down and five to go, Miss Gilgallan. Is it possible that we have not yet struck upon the major thing that our guest is famous for? That is very possible. He is still maintaining that he's a performer. Well, yes, in the degree that he was asked if he had anything to do with the arts and then was asked if he was a oh. performer, in that large context, we would have to accept that he was indeed a performer. <laughs> well, yes, I'd love a conference, Arlene. Uh, uh, there, was there a call oh, for a maybe conference? Have a conference, John. You may have 15 seconds for a conference, and I'm going to give you one minute more to get it. Ask if he could use his mustache to paint. Oh! Oh, uh, have you a, a, a mustache that is rather well known? In fact, could you be almost caricatured just by that? Yes. Oh, well, thank you, Arlene. Are you Salvador Dali? Salvador Dali is right. 